This project came about when I was asked by Dr. John Hunter, who's a special education uh, inspector, to um, look at some type of showcasing for all principals at our conference for this year. So we um, approached the Nair Centre. We had several discussions and I proposed an animation programme, simply because we have members of staff in Belmont who excel in ICT skills. The training was second and on. We had brilliant training. Our staff were so enthusiastic um, and there was a real buzz in the training. So I think that, that, that actually back in the classroom now, you know, that the teachers are using the skills that they learnt uh, uh, through the, the Nerve Centre staff coming in and, and helping us to develop uh, something that, that we would have probably found really difficult to do ourselves. And we were kind of, we were shown how to do it in a really creative way. So the, I'm sure that, um, that the value added is pretty obvious. Um, uh, whenever you see what's going on in the classroom now. Well, it was excellent because I've never done animation before. I would have shied away from a project like that. I had the idea of the project was in my mind because we've been doing Beowulf and I thought, how could I bring this to life? And then this training just came along at exactly the right time and gave me the confidence and the training and the skills to go ahead and do it. And I would never have done that before. But um, I would certainly attempt a project like that again. Definitely teacher training has helped develop my confidence levels within using the software and different parts of uh, IT in general. The skills that I have developed will, will certainly be used further in the classroom. As, uh, even as we speak now, uh, we, we currently have a project running further on Derry during the World War. And digital media will be, will be an excellent way to showcase that for an assembly for the school. Uh, I feel that the support was, was very, very good and it was great to get someone else into the classroom and show the children and help myself show the children and teach the children what way they could bring it forward. I think the children started to get more and more ideas of what they could actually use it for. It, it's definitely impacted within, within the classroom and uh, you can see the children becoming more enthusiastic about learning and they're starting to ask more questions uh, and they, they feel that uh, they can express themselves more through digital media uh, and they've started to show an interest even after school. Uh, they've went home and a lot of downloaded software, a lot of them worked on the project, a lot of them have continued with the project at home and a lot of them have encouraged their parents to look at the project and look at the software and, and I think it's great creating homeschool links. The day that the trainers came in, they were so excited. They absolutely loved it because I, as I say, would never have done that with them before. I wouldn't have had the ability. I wouldn't have had all the cameras, the equipment. They loved it. They made a superb little film, which is going to be brilliant. And it has given me confidence to do a thing like that again. And I now know where I can go for help, which is also good. <laughs> The digital skills are vital in the classroom. Uh, I think the way forward is, is through digital media. I think the way forward is through IT and computers in general. I feel that the children must develop more confidence and it has to stretch further than a simple typing episode. They have to expand upon their knowledge of different software that definitely benefits them uh, through various areas of the curriculum, through numeracy and literacy, and of course through topic work. The children have to get skills at this stage and the younger they get them the better. It's too late by the time they go to secondary school and everything now, I mean any job they get they're going to need technical skills, it's all about communication so it's crucial and the younger the better. For our children in particular, for the children with special needs, they, it's like a magic key. It's, it's amazing what the, the computers can do for the kids. Um, that, the animation in particular, it was um, there was no numeracy involved in it, there was no literacy, there was nothing there to highlight our children's weaknesses. It was a tool that they could use to the same level of ability as um, a mainstream child with, you know, average ability or, or certainly no learning difficulty. Well, I feel even given a chance to meet the staff in the special school and take it from a different perspective. Um, I know that they face their challenges and we face ours and it's, it's enlightening to see that the, the challenges that we face are almost similar in very many ways but are also different and it's good to get an experience from another teacher as to how they could use digital media and how they could use IT um, to perhaps assess targets and, and assess roles for, for children to play in the classroom. So we got to work in both schools 
and we got to see both schools and meet people from, you know, um, our, our local mainstream primary school, which is really nice for us. We have always had a good link with Belmont, and I think it strengthens that. We have had pupils, we have past pupils that have moved down to Troy College, so we do have a close link with the school, and I think it's great for children to see different ways of working from both ways. I think it's good if they could come up and see how we work and for us to go and work with them. And the other thing that was great was working with the teachers and sharing our lack of confidence together and growing together. And it'll be great, great to see what we've got at the end.